easy guys, we're just going to start with a little bit of star jumping. Uh, so jogging on the spot first of all. Okay. Alright, that's nice easy guys. Let's jog it out. Get those legs moving, blow these cobwebs out. Good, so nice and light up on the toes. Just a little bit jogging, just loosen ourselves. Gonna get that heart rate up a little bit, get the breathing rate up a little bit. All right, just flick those heels up at the back, kick them up nice and high behind. If you haven't done so already, guys, hit that share button. Let's get this video out there, let's get people moving. Good, back to a normal jog. All right, guys, 10 seconds. We're gonna go into some star jumps. Nice and light, up on the toes. Three, two, one. Off we go. So nice and easy. Up on the toes, good spring in our step. Just bring the arms up to shoulder height for now. Good, that's it. Good, just gonna spend 30 seconds on this. So we've got 10 to go. We're gonna switch. Go forward and back. Three, two, one, off we go. Little bit of running man. Still on the toes, still nice and light. Swing those arms, loosen those shoulders. 15 to go, keep going guys. Oh no, James had to bail. Hopefully that's your connection, not mine. All right, we're going to go back to star jumps, guys. Three, two, one. Off we go. This time, bring hands to meet above the head. Open up those shoulders. Still nice and light up on the toes. Just bringing the heart rate up. Bringing the breathing rate up. <coughs> Last few seconds, guys. All right, good. Let's just go back to a jog. Just keep the legs moving. Nice and easy for a second. So that's part one of our warm-up done. Going to go to part two. Our mobilization warm-up, okay? Just going to do some kettlebell moves without the kettlebells. Just to mobilize and loosen the joints and muscles. All right, first of all. Going into squats. Feet shoulder width apart, nice and easy. Into the squat, bring it back. Down, back. Good, so nice and slow. Nothing too strenuous just yet. Just loosening the knees, hips, lower back, warming up those quads. Last couple here. And we're going to take those feet nice and wide, turn the toes out slightly, and we're going into a sumo squat from here. Again, get that bum nice and low, loosening the hips. You will feel this one more down the inner thighs on this one, all right, guys? That's called your adductors, which run down the inside of the leg, and the glutes a bit as well. Last couple reps, guys. We're going to swings next. All right, two-handed swings. Three, two, one, off we go. So we're just imagining we've got this kettlebell in our hand. I want you to sit your hips back and down here. You can see nice flat back from the bottom. Drive those hips up. Nice and strong hips. Squeeze your glutes at the top. And we swing back down. Straight back into the hip drive. Okay, we're going to take this over the head now, guys. Just be careful if you've got any lights above your head. So strong hips. Get those arms right up above the head, biceps close to your ears. Strong hips and drive. And drive. And drive. 
Last couple of swings, guys. From here, we're going to go to reverse lunges. So what we do, guys, long stride back, drop the knee down. Come up, down, and up. So, long stride, bend the knee, drop the knee down. So it almost touches the floor. Drive back off that front leg. Down, drive, down, drive. Keys to this, get a long stride in, dropping the knee nice and low. And then powering back off that front leg. All right guys, all we're gonna do now, we just add a clap between the legs. Just clap the hands between the legs. This is to simulate a move called a tactical lunge. We will do this one in a little bit, where we just pass the kettlebell through the legs. Last 10 of this, guys, we've got one more move in the warm up. We're gonna go to windmills. Okay, so what I want you to do, I'm gonna turn this way so it's easier. Turn your feet left, kick your right hip out, extend your right arm up, keep your eyes on this hand. And we're going to fold the hips, run the bottom hand down the inside of the leg to the ankle, bring it back. All the way down, bring it back. Alright, this is called a windmill. We want to be working the obliques, the side of the core, down into the glutes. Last couple on this side, guys, and we will switch. Alright, let's switch, let's go the other way. Turn your feet to the right, keep your left hip out, sassy hip. Arm up, fold the hips down and back, down and back. Keep your eyes on that hand above the head guys, don't look at the floor. Nearly there, last few reps, three, two, one, time, well done. Awesome guys, warm up done, well done. Have a quick drink if you want one. All right, time to grab that kettlebell. So we're gonna grab our kettlebell, we're gonna go into our workout. We're gonna hold our kettlebell upside down like this. So the bottom facing the ceiling. Our first move is called a swing curl press. It's actually three moves all joined together into one. I'm gonna quickly demo it guys. Don't start just yet, I'm just gonna demo it if you're not familiar with it. So. From the kettlebell, we're gonna go down into a swing, into a bicep curl, then finish with overhead press. Swing, curl, press. All right, guys, from the side. Swing, curl, press. Whoop, got to go in between the beams. Swing, curl, press. All right, that's move number one, guys. That's a demo, we're gonna get going. All the rest I will show you as we go, because we go from one straight into the net without stopping. Obviously, if you need to stop and grab a drink, catch your breath, do so, but try and push yourself as hard as you can without stopping all the way through. All right, guys, let's get ready. First move coming up, start with that swing curl press. Move number one of 30 coming up. Ready, three, two, one, let's go. Swing, curl, press, down, swing, Go, press, back to the swing, back to that strong hip drive. Keeping the back flat. Nice strong hips. Squeeze glutes at the top. Then on the curl, here. Make sure we squeeze those biceps. Work them. Then finish with the overhead press. Swing, go, press. Swing, go, press. Good guys, we got 20 to go. Keep it going. Last 10, last couple reps. Beautiful. Okay, next move, go straight into a halo. Kettlebell in front of the face. Nice tight circles around the back of the head. Stop, back the other way. Stop, around, stop. Good, so we are loosening and working those shoulders. 
This is something you can go quite heavy with. This will get a good shoulder burn going, guys. Now, even though we are working the shoulders, upper arms, upper back here, I want you to brace this core. Core nice and strong. Bring that belly button in. Brace those abs. Imagine someone's about to hit you in the tummy. That's what I want you to do. Squeeze and brace those abs. So you just go into those alternating halos. Really good for your shoulders. Keep pushing guys, come on. Last 10. Couple more reps. Next move, we're going two-handed swings. In three, two, one. Let's go. So we've just done these in the warm up, obviously without the kettlebell. Now we've got this kettlebell in our hand. Now the swing is the daddy of kettlebell moves. All right, this will send your heart rate through the roof. If you've not done kettlebell sides, but you've done some form of circuits, or you've worked with a PT with a kettlebell, I guarantee you'd have done kettlebell swings. These are good because they hit what's called the posterior chain. Hamstrings, glute, lower back, all right? Really important set of muscles. They require lots of oxygen, so they will send your heart rate and breathing rate through the roof. Last 10 seconds, guys. Last couple of swings. Perfect. Next move, upright rows from here. Row to the chin, down. Off we go. So we are rowing to the chin. We want good posture. Chest up, shoulders back, chin up. Not like this. Stand tall. Pull those shoulders back, chin up. Row. 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 Again, hitting shoulders, upper arms, upper back. Feeling the burn, guys. Good, that's it, come on. And up, good. And we want elbows above the kettlebell at the top, guys. Don't want to be here. We want to be right here. And we're coming into the last 10 seconds. Come on, guys, last couple reps. Next move, single arm swings, kettlebell in one hand, into the hip drive and swing. Three, two, one, let's go. So now we've got this kettlebell in one hand. Tougher on this arm now than the two handed swing. But that hip drive is exactly the same. Sit in the hips, back and down, drive, drive. Nice and strong and powerful on the hips. Last couple of swings, we're gonna switch arms. Three, two, one, and switch. Switch it, switch it. Come on guys, keep driving those hips, keep pushing. 15 seconds. Last 10. Couple more, we're gonna switch arms back for our next move. Three, two, one, switch. This is called the wrap position. Catch on that forearm. We're gonna go overhead presses, straight in. Let's go. So from the bottom, fully extend. Bring it back, press back. Again, be careful if you've got lights above your head, guys. Don't be smashing your lights. Don't be putting a hole in the ceiling. All right, couple more, we're gonna switch. Three, two, one. Switch arms, other side, press. With this move, we want arm fully extended, bicep close to your ear at the top. All right, guys, again, core tight. So we're not pressing away, not pressing forward. Straight up, straight back. Last 10 seconds. Couple more presses, guys. Next move, we've got another swing variation. Alternating swings. Three, two, one, let's go. So sit in the hips, back and down again into that hip drive. Punch those hips nice and strong and powerful. We drive up, 
Switch hands at the top. So we want, there's a bit where that kettlebell will just kind of float in midair, we'll just hover for a split second. That's when the other hand comes over, takes hold of the handle, swing back down, drive, over the top, release, catch, drive. Good guys, how are we doing? Keep pushing, you got 20 to go. Last 10 seconds. Couple more swings guys, next move coming up, we're going into neutral rows. Three, two, one. So, fold at the hips, lean forward so your back is nice and flat. Elbow pointed behind you, we row. And row, get that elbow nice and high. So the elbow comes towards the hip and up, and down. Up, down, up, down. So working upper arm, upper back, lats. Get that elbow high. If you haven't done so already, guys, if you are just watching on the sofa, hit that share button. Get this video out there. Three, two, one. Switch arms. Same again. Other side. Row and row. <coughs> Good. Come on, guys. Fifteen seconds. Keep going. Keep rowing that kettlebell. 10 seconds, couple more. We go back downstairs next. Next move, we did this in the warm up, tactical lunges. It's a reverse lunge. Pass the kettlebell through the legs and back. Three, two, one. Let's go guys. So we did this in the warm up where we were just clapping our hands. Now we've got this kettlebell, again. Lunge back, long stride. Drop the knee down, pass through, come up. Down, pass through, come up. I'll do it from the back. When you have your kettlebell in your right hand, your right leg goes back. Pass it through, come up. Now it's in your left hand, left leg goes back. Pass it through, up, down, up, down. Up. Coordination isn't too important guys, the important part is getting a long stride, drop the knees so it almost touches the floor. Last couple reps. Next move back upstairs. Overhead tricep extension. Three, two, one. Let's go. So elbows are tight. Don't let them come away. We don't want to be here, we want elbows right here. Pointing up, full extension, up, back, up, back. When you get tired, these elbows will want to sneak away. Keep them in. We want to isolate these triceps here. Back of the upper arms, okay? That's your triceps. If you have nice toned arms, work well, those triceps. 15 seconds. Come on guys, full extension, up. All the way back in behind the head. Up and back. Last 10. Couple more reps. From here. Back to the legs. We're going into squats. Kettlebell in the middle of the chest. Feet shoulder width apart. We're going to hit the squats. Three, two, one. Let's go. Nice and easy, guys. Dropping the bum nice and low. Okay. Try and get your thighs parallel to the floor if possible. So we want to be here if we can. Now note, as I squat my bum actually goes back a little bit. Almost as if I was going to sit on the toilet. If our bum goes straight down, we put a lot of pressure on the knees. This forces our heels to come up off the floor. We want to keep our heels on the ground. So if you notice your heels are lifting, sit back a bit more as if you're sitting back on the loo. Last couple reps, guys. Next move. We're going to wear the guns. Two-handed bicep curls. Three, two, one. Let's go. So this is something you can go quite quickly with, guys. Let's get a good pump on those biceps. 
I know you wouldn't think so looking outside the window, but spring is actually here. Summer is coming, which means vest tops, sleeveless tops, not being able to hide under big baggy jumpers, cardigans, hoodies, that sort of thing. So let's work on those guns, guys. Let's work those arms. Elbows tight, upper body still. Here. Curl and squeeze. Curl and squeeze. Make sure we don't start doing this. We don't want to be rocking or swinging that kettlebell up. Last couple reps on this, guys. Next move, we're going into what's called a clean. Kettlebell in one hand. Hip drive, sat back and down. Drive. Quick tuck of the elbow under the kettlebell. We want it to land softly on the forearm. Three, two, one, off we go. Hip drive, clean. Hip drive, clean. So, upper arm stays fixed to the side of the body on this one. It's not like a swing where you swing the arm away. You keep the upper arm close. I'll come in a bit closer. Here, clean it. We want it to land softly. We want the kettlebell to go around the outside of the wrist, not up and over, because it'll just crash into us. Three, two, one, switch, other arm. All right, so it goes around the outside. If we flip it up and over, like that, oh, it's gonna crash into our forearm, cover us in bruises. All right, so down, hip drive, clean that kettlebell. Clean. Last couple reps, guys. Next move, we're going to switch back. Hip drive again, we're in towards called a high pull. Sat back and down, drive, high pull, drive, high pull. Let's go. So we've got two moves in one, really. We've got this hip drive again, like a swing. But this time as we come up, we bring this elbow high and back. Drive, high pull. This high pull here, activates the upper back. Three. Two, one, switch arms, other side, drive, high pull, drive, high pull. Strong hips, strong elbow. Come on guys, we're going into the last 10 seconds. Last couple reps. All right, next move, squat to press. Putting two moves back to back from here. When we see it, we squat, up, press. Squat, up, press. So this is all one move, guys. It's not two moves. What I don't want you to do is stop at the top of the squat and pause, then go into the press. All one move. Explode out the bottom. Here, drive. Press, look by the ceiling. Nice deep squat. Power out of the bottom. Straight into the press. This will get your heart rate up. Woo! Remember guys, if you're at home sat on the sofa, don't just watch, hit that share button. Contribute. Let's get this video out there. Last couple reps. Next move, this is called a tricep kickback, guys. Again, triceps, back of the upper arms. Hold your kettlebell. Here, this bit's actually called the horn. Hold it there by the horn. Lean forward, elbow up, kick the arm back, down. Back, down. On this move, it's a simple move but one lots of people get wrong because they swing at the shoulder. Shoulder doesn't move. We're here like this. It's all at the elbow. Three, two, one, switch arms. So I'll come in closer from here. Elbow up, horizontal is the upper arm. Kick back, down, back, down. Trying to get the arm fully straightened and horizontal. Last couple reps, guys. Next move, we got into a swing snatch. Now really be careful of your ceiling if you've got low ceilings, guys. We're going to hip drive. As we come up, punch the kettlebell above the head. Back into the hip drive. Off we go. Drive, 
punch, down, punch, down. It's the hips that get the kettlebell above the head, guys, not the arm. The strong and powerful hip drive gets the kettlebell up. Three, two, one, switch arms other way. So from here, drive, punch, down, drive, punch, down. Top position, arm fully extended, nice and straight, bicep close to your ear. Last couple reps. Next move guys, switch arms back. Get a single arm bicep curls. Squeeze, lower, up, squeeze, lower. So again, work in the biceps, front of the upper arm. Keep your elbow tight, upper body still. Come up, squeeze, lower down. You can have a quick drink while you're working on this one, guys. Three, two, one, switch arms other way. Up, squeeze, down. Make sure ugh, we're not doing this. If you're having to swing it up or use your upper body, kettlebell's too heavy, you need to drop down a weight. Nearly there, guys, you've got 10 more seconds. Last couple reps, we're gonna switch arms back. Next move is called a side bend. One hand behind the head. From here, we're gonna lower down the kettlebell. So we stretch these obliques, and then we're gonna squeeze them to bring us back. Off we go. Now this is a very simple move. So it's a small movement, but I don't want you to make it easy. I want you to really squeeze the obliques right here. Okay? This is where we're working on the opposite side of the kettlebell here. Really good for your core. Three, two, one, switch up. Same again, other way. So stretch, squeeze, stretch, squeeze. Also on this one, I want you to imagine your sandwich between two panes of glass front and back. So you can't lean forward, can't lean back. You're only going sideways, all right? Last couple reps on this one. Next move, we're going overhead swings. Again, be careful of your ceilings. Two-handed swing, this time, kettle above the head. Off we go, guys. So a really strong, powerful hip drive is needed to get this kettlebell above the head. It's the hips. It's the hip drive that gets the kettlebell above the head, not the arms. The arms are just loose and relaxed, going along for the ride, all right? Hip drive, strong and powerful. Get the kettlebell up, top position. Arms fully extended, biceps close to ears. 15 to go. <coughs> Last 10. Last couple of swings. Next move, we go back upstairs. Working front raises. From here, keep the arms straight, extend up to eye level. Bring it down. Up, bring it down. Again, upper body needs to stay still. Don't rock or swing this kettlebell up. All right, upper body does not move. Up, eye level, lower. Up, eye level, lower. Come on guys, keep going. Should really be feeling it, upper arm, shoulders, upper back. Come on guys, push, 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 keep going. Last 10 seconds, come on guys. Perfect, next move. We're combining two moves we've already done on the row, now we're putting them together. We've got clean and press. Back and down into the hip drive, clean, straight into overhead press. Clean, press, 
down, clean, press, down. Off we go, guys. These two moves complement each other beautifully. Nice and strong hip drive from the bottom. As we come up, tuck the elbow under so it lands softly on the forearm. Then we press above the head. Three, two, one. Switch, same again, other way. Switch your arms. Hip drive, press. Hip drive, press. Last 10 seconds, guys. All right, next move, back to the legs. Rotational lunges. We're gonna go into a forward lunge. When we go forward with our left leg, rotate left, drive back. Forward with the right leg, rotate right, come back. Let's do it, guys. So whichever leg you go forward with, that's the direction you turn in. From the back. Forward lunge left, rotate left. Forward lunge right, rotate right. And we want to drive back off the front foot. Front leg's doing the work, guys. 15 seconds. Last 10, come for more. Perfect, next move, back upstairs. Another row variation, this time, as we land forward, we turn our elbow out to the side. Then we row. Three, two, one, let's go. So now because we've got our elbow turned out to the side, you want to feel it up about here. Okay? You want to feel a squeeze between the shoulder blades in that top position. Three, two, one, switch arms, same again. Other side, get that elbow high, squeeze that upper back. Imagine you try to squeeze a pencil between your shoulder blades at the top, squeeze, squeeze. 15 to go. We're nearly there, guys. This is our last one before we hit the abs. Last one. We're going into the windmills. We did this in the warm up. Now we're doing it with the kettlebell. Kettlebell in right hand. Turn your feet left. Kick that hip out. Extend the arm up above the head. Eyes on the kettlebell. Windmill down. Bring it back. Off we go. Keep your eyes fixed on that kettlebell. Down. And back. Last couple on this side. Three, two, one. Switch arms. Now turn your feet to the right. Kick that left hip out. Press above the head. Eyes fixed on that kettlebell. Windmill down. Bring it back. Last 10 seconds guys, couple more reps, keep it going. Three, two, one. Relax there guys, well done. Put your kettlebell down. Awesome. Woo. That's 25 moves in the bag guys, well done. How are we feeling guys? Put a little comment in the comment below if you did it all the way through, let me know. And how many of you are just sat in bed still watching it? Let me know that as well. Okay, so we've done 25 moves, upper body, lower body. Now we're going down into our abs. We're working the core, all right? So we're gonna hit the abs now. Five moves only, so five minutes left to go, guys. You're not quite off the hook just yet. Uh. All right. Okay, let's get it done. Okay, let's hit the abs now, guys. So five moves. Our first move is actually working the glutes. All right, so we're gonna do hip extensions, which hits the glutes. Abby, legs are fire. Yes, abs. 
Zoe, no stopping. Nearly <laughs> took the TV out a few times. Oh, yeah, please don't um, send me your insurance claims. Thank you, guys. I take no responsibility for any damage or injury. <laughs> if you've taken out any light fittings or televisions, uh, not my fault, I'm afraid. Well done, guys. Awesome. Right, let's go down. Let's hit these abs. Okay, as I said, first move, hitting the glutes, hip extensions. I'll quickly demo it. Actually, I'm going to drop this camera down a bit because you might not see me down there. Let's bring it down a little bit. There we go. A bit lower. That's better. All right, good. Okay, guys, so we're doing a hip extension with press first. First move, working the glutes, okay? Glutes is your bum cheeks if you didn't know what your glutes are. So if you want nice, tight, firm glutes, this is a great exercise for you. We're combining it with a press. Lie flat, bring your heels to your bum. What we're gonna do is drive our hips to the ceiling, press the kettlebell above the chest. So two moves in one for maximal calorie burn. All right, so from the bottom again, get these hips as high as we can. The higher we get the hips, the more we activate those glutes, all right? Now, I know it's a bit of a weird, funky looking move, guys, but you will feel these glutes working. At the top, I want you to squeeze your glutes as if you're trying to crush a grate between your bum cheeks. Squeeze hard. On the way back down, don't let your bum touch the floor. We drive again. Down, drive again, all right? Combine with that press as well to work the arms and chest at the same time. That's move number one. We've got five left, guys. We go from hip, hip extensions into crunches, oblique twists, flutter kicks, and then hip extension, we pull over. All right, guys? Here we go. We've got 10 seconds in position then. Hip extension with press to kick us off. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Drive those hips up. Squeeze those glutes. Press the kettlebell above the chest. Good. Press. And press. Good guys, come on, get those hips up. Squeeze glutes. Imagine you've got a winning lottery ticket between your bum cheeks. Do not let that ticket go. Nearly there guys, come on! Fifteen seconds. Last ten seconds, last couple of reps. Next move coming up, we've got a crunch with press. So crunch isn't a full sit up. I want you to bring your shoulder blades up, Press the kettlebell away, come down. Just press through the legs, or just through the knees, and back. Off we go. So as you can see, I'm not doing a full sit-up. A full sit-up is here. I'm not coming all the way up. Shoulder blades come up, that's it. Lower back stays on the floor, on the mat, whatever you've got. Here, squeeze those abs, and back. Squeeze. Press back. Twenty to go, guys. Last ten seconds. Come on, four more. Four, three, two, and one. Well done. Next move, we're going to come up. These are oblique twists. I want you to sit tall. Lower back slightly. We're gonna rotate the upper body. Kettlebell goes hip to hip. Off we go. So, key to this, is make sure we get a good upper body rotation. Your chest and shoulders must follow the kettlebell. 
Don't just sit here working your arms like this, like you're paddling in a canoe or something. Rotate that upper body. Guys, we've got 20 to go. I want you to go next level. Lift those feet off the floor. Last 10. Nearly there, guys. Couple more. Next move. I'm going to go this way. Running out of room. Next move, flutter kicks. From the top, beginners, small flutter kicks of about, you're traveling about a foot. That's it. Almost heel to toe. All right, intermediates, halfway. Advance, guys, all the way down. Do not let your heels near the floor. All right? So keep the heels up. Make sure your back stays nice and flat. Also, the move must come from the hips, not the knees. We are not doing this. That's not working anything. Legs straight, moving at the hips. Right here, last 10 seconds. All right, we're into our last one. We come back into our hip bridge. So heels to bum, keep the hips up. Extend the arms, lower the kettlebell, back behind the head, pull over, pull the kettlebell to the weight, off we go, down and back. Keep the hips up guys, keep your bum up on the floor, get the hips as high as you can. So we go back, I want you to brace your abs in this position, squeeze, bring it back. Squeeze, bring it back. Come on guys, this is our last one, we're nearly there. You got 15 seconds. <coughs> Come on guys, last 10, about four more. Squeeze those abs, four, three, two, one. Relax. Woo! Well done, guys. Awesome. Well done, well done. Super. Let me just say this with you. Excellent, guys. Well done. How are we feeling, guys? Let me know. Who went all the way through without stopping? Uh, who's just sat on their sofa thinking, what the hell is this guy doing? Well done. Have a drink. Catch your breath. So let me know, guys, how did that go? What did you think? Good to get up and get moving, right? A little bit of cabin fever took over there yesterday, I think. Definitely been a bit naughty with uh, with the food choices, but hey, we only get a decent snow once every ten years, don't we? So the kids loved it, so that's that's the main thing. Okay, so if you've just watched that, uh, Haley, brilliant workout. OMG, those flutter kicks—they suck, don't they? Flutter kicks suck, but incredible for your lower abdominals. All right, that's where you feel them burn, right in the lower abs. Um, so yeah, awesome for your lower abs, flutter kicks, well done. Uh, Joe, loved it, awesome Joe. Yes, Sai, Sai was in, good man. Uh, Joe, no stopping, well done, Joe. Zoe, thanks, you. feels good to get off the sofa after two days. 100%, yeah. Um, we did a little bit of sledging, of course. Good to get out in the snow, but yeah, a little bit too much time with our ass glued to the sofa, for sure. So that's good. So if you've watched that and you're like, whoa, what the hell is this? I want to do this again. Basically, this is what we do. Well, this is basically a condensed and basically an express version of what we do on a Tuesday at 6.30 and a Saturday 9 a.m. at Oldwood Primary School. All right, guys? Um, we have our full timetable. If you check our page, um, you'll see our timetable. At the top of this page, you'll see a, a blue book now button. If you're interested in coming along, You'll get your first class for free, so you can come and try it. 
Um, there's this, we do what's called Combat MX, which is a kettlebell workout combined with some combat stuff as well and some bodyweight stuff, which is good. I might get Ems to come on and do a live combat um, live stream, which, which would be cool. Um, and body fit as well. We use a fitness studio up at Payton Community College. So if you're wondering about what it is we do, we combine fitness classes with diet and nutrition advice to help mostly women um, lose weight, get in shape, tone up, get their confidence back and basically win at life. All right, guys. Awesome, guys. Thank you for joining me. Nice one, Abs. Well done, Zoe, Joe, Sai, uh, Haley. all you guys that joined in. Well done. Superb. All right, so... Claire, Claire was on board, awesome Claire. Um, yeah, so as you, I'm sure you're aware, the snow is slowly going. We, we should be right back to normal from Monday, guys, okay? Um, so class is back as normal on Monday. Um, as I say, check out our timetable, check out our, our booking system. Um, and I will, any questions at all, guys, feel free to message me anytime. I answer straight away. Um, so yeah, 